They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. The bold and controversial comedian Cat Williams has recently made an appearance on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay podcast, dropping bombshell after bombshell that has left fans and the industry in sheer disbelief. In this shocking revelation, Williams exposes rap industry titan Jay-Z for his alleged infidelity. Get ready to be shocked and intrigued as we uncover the truth behind these sensational claims. Stay tuned for the most scandalous story you've ever heard. Let's get started. Cat Williams exposes Jay-Z's alleged infidelity. In the world of fame and fortune, scandals and controversies are no strangers. But when it comes to the clash between Cat Williams and rap industry titan Jay-Z, the events leading up to their explosive feud are nothing short of turbulent. Strap in because we're about to take a deep dive into the dark and scandalous world of these two larger-than-life figures. It all began in the previous year, when Diddy's ex-girlfriend and former signee of Jay-Z's label, Bad Boy Records, filed a lawsuit that sent shockwaves through the industry. Her name was Cassie, and as she accused P. Diddy of heinous acts, Acts. She also accused Jay-Z for keeping quiet about the situation, knowing fully well what was happening. In the lawsuit, she alleged a harrowing cycle of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking during their tumultuous 10-year relationship. Cassie claimed to have endured not just one but multiple instances of domestic violence at the hands of P. Diddy himself. But the most horrifying revelation came when she accused him of a non-consensual sexual incident in 2018. The details were chilling, painting a picture of a man who had used his power and influence to manipulate manipulate and control her. As news of the lawsuit broke, more women came forward, leveling similar accusations against Diddy. The allegations ranged from abuse to sex trafficking and even group assault. Diddy, known for his composed and calculated public persona, vehemently denied these allegations. He deemed them offensive and outrageous, with his lawyer, Ben Brofman, going so far as to call Cassie's claims blackmail. According to Brofman, Diddy had offered her eight figures to keep silent, suggesting that the accusations were fabricated. But the accusations against P. Diddy continued to pile up. On November 23rd, another woman named Joey, Dickerson Neal came forward, accusing Diddy of administering substances without consent and engaging in non-consensual sexual acts with her back in 1991. Her attorneys claimed that she was the victim of revenge, as Diddy allegedly recorded the assault and shared the video within the music industry. And if that wasn't enough, on the same day, a Jane Doe filed a lawsuit alleging that Diddy and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall had taken turns engaging in non-consensual sexual acts with her and a friend over 30 years ago. Diddy's spokesperson dismissed these claims as fabricated and a money grab, casting doubt on the credibility of the accuser. The mounting allegations had consequences beyond Diddy's personal life. On November 28th, it was announced that he would temporarily step aside as the chairman of Revolt, the hip-hop TV network he had co-founded. The move was characterized as temporary, but it signaled a significant shift in the industry. Companies, including those on his recently launched e-commerce platform, Empower Global, distanced themselves from from him in the wake of the sexual assault allegations. Rumors began to circulate about the insurance company's role in Diddy's business empire. Some speculated that they had the power to refuse to renew his policies if he continued to be a director or officer. It was in this turbulent atmosphere that Cat Williams made his appearance on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay podcast. With a sly grin, Williams dropped a bombshell that left listeners agog. He revealed that Diddy, the billionaire rap mogul, had allegedly made an astonishing offer to him, a staggering $50 million to engage in a sex act. And, as if it wasn't enough, Diddy and Jay-Z was also reported to be having an affair. This shocking revelation sent shockwaves through the entertainment world. Fans and industry insiders stood in awe of Williams's audacity. For Diddy, who was already facing multiple sexual harassment and assault allegations, Williams's claim was nothing short of a public relations disaster. But the drama didn't end there. Reports surfaced that Williams was now facing chilling threats. It is rumored that powerful figures in the industry, desperate to protect Jay-Z's reputation, warned Williams not to broach the subject. The implication was clear, silence or face the consequences. Williams, however, refused to be silenced. He believed that the truth needed to be revealed, no matter the cost. After the podcast aired, he confided in a close friend, expressing his fear for his life. Whether these threats are directly linked to Jay-Z, P. Diddy, or his powerful connections remains unconfirmed. But one thing is clear, Williams is taking them seriously. As the feud between Cat Williams and Diddy intensifies, the attempts to silence Williams and the escalating threats he faces are sending shockwaves 
through the entertainment world. It's a battle of power, secrets, and survival. In this section, we'll delve deeper into the sinister tactics employed to bury the story and the evidence Williams claims to possess. Behind the scenes, rumors are swirling that Diddy is desperately trying to silence Williams, not through public rebuttals or denials, but through actions that speak louder than words. The grave implication is an attempt on Williams' life, a chilling move to bury the story and the evidence he claims to possess. The reason behind these threats becomes clear when we consider the mounting lawsuits and accusations against Diddy. With each passing day, more victims step forward, shedding light on the dark side of the rap mogul's life. The last thing Jay-Z needs is additional evidence that could expose his alleged crimes and further tarnish his reputation. It's rumored that the threats against Williams come not only from Diddy himself, but from powerful figures in the industry who want to protect his reputation at all costs. These individuals have the influence and resources to make life difficult for anyone who dares to challenge the status quo. Despite the threats, Williams remains resolute. He believes that the truth must be exposed, no matter the personal risk. His courage in the face of adversity is a testament to his determination to bring justice to light. The question on everyone's mind is, what does Cat Williams have in that vault of evidence that has the powerful so worried? The unseen forces at play suggest that the evidence he possesses could be explosive, capable of shaking the very foundations of the industry. The powerful figures who are allegedly behind the threats against Williams understand the potential consequences if the truth were to come out. They will stop at nothing to maintain their grip on power and protect their secrets. Williams, fully aware of the dangers he faces, is taking the threats seriously. He knows that his life is at stake and he must tread carefully. His every move is now under scrutiny and he must navigate a treacherous path to ensure his safety and the exposure of the truth. The power of truth cannot be underestimated. Williams's determination to expose Jay-Z's alleged secrets has struck fear into the hearts of those who wish to keep them hidden. The battle between Williams and the powerful forces aligned against him is a testament to the strength of one man's voice and the impact it can have on an entire industry. As the tension continues to escalate, the world waits with bated breath to see how this gripping narrative will unfold. Will Williams be able to withstand the threats and intimidation? Will he be able to bring the truth to light and hold those responsible accountable? Diddy's alleged misconduct and threats against Cat Williams. It's no secret that the entertainment industry is filled with scandal and secrets, but when it comes to music mogul Diddy, the rumors and allegations have reached a whole new level. One person who has been at the forefront of exposing Diddy's alleged misconduct is none other than the outspoken comedian Cat Williams. For quite some time now, Cat Williams has been speaking out against Diddy, accusing him of being on the down low and engaging in secret affairs with other men in the industry. Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right, because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party and you gotta tell him no. But it wasn't until recently that Cat dropped a bombshell that sent shockwaves through the industry. He claimed that Diddy had offered him a jaw-dropping $50 million for a one-night stand, an offer that Cat boldly turned down. These revelations have caused quite a stir as people try to wrap their heads around the idea of Diddy, a man known for his success and influence, allegedly making such advances toward other men. The internet went into a frenzy, with fans and critics alike questioning the truth behind Cat's claims. But Cat Williams wasn't one to be silenced easily. He continued to expose Diddy's secrets, keeping his foot firmly on Diddy's neck as he put it. In recent days, Cat has taken to various platforms, including podcasts and interviews, to spill even more tea about Diddy's alleged misconduct. One of the most shocking claims made by Cat is that Diddy allegedly makes passes at other men in the industry. According to Cat, Diddy's flirtatious behavior isn't limited to just women. He alleges that Diddy has a penchant for moving up and around town, finding people to play with, regardless of their gender. While these claims may seem outrageous to some, they have sparked a conversation about Diddy's true sexuality and the lengths he may go to hide it. It's worth noting that these allegations aren't entirely new. Rumors about Diddy's sexuality have been circulating for years, with many speculating that he uses women as a cover to hide his true preferences. The idea of Diddy being on the down low and engaging in secret relationships with men has been a topic of discussion in certain circles for quite some time. But what makes Cat Williams' claims so significant is the fact that he is a well-known figure in the entertainment industry. His boldness in speaking out against Diddy, a man with immense power and influence, has garnered attention and raised eyebrows. Cat's refusal to back down and his willingness to expose Diddy's alleged misconduct have made him a target for Diddy's wrath. In response to Cat's revelations, Diddy allegedly sent some very strong words to the comedian, threatening him to back off or face the consequences. This only fueled the fire as Cat continued to speak out against Diddy, refusing to be silenced by the music mogul's alleged threats. The drama between Diddy and Cat 
Williams has been playing out in the public eye, with fans and critics eagerly awaiting the next move. The tension between the two has reached a boiling point, with Diddy seemingly unable to escape the spotlight and the consequences of his alleged actions. The allegations against Diddy don't stop at Cat Williams' claims. In fact, they go much deeper, with lawsuits and disturbing revelations painting a dark picture of the music mogul's behavior. One of the most significant lawsuits came from Diddy's former girlfriend, Cassie. In her lawsuit, Cassie accused Diddy of abuse and manipulation throughout their decade-long relationship. She claimed that Diddy forced her to be intimate with male escorts, which he referred to as freak-off parties. The contents of the lawsuit were so disturbing that it came with a trigger warning, highlighting the severity of the allegations. But it doesn't end there. Cassie also revealed that Diddy pressured her into undergoing plastic surgery, even demanding the removal of her breast implants, claiming they were too big. A source who witnessed the incident described Cassie crying silently, fresh from surgery, while Diddy insisted on the removal of the implants the very next day, disregarding the potential health risks. Cassie's lawsuit shed light on the controlling and manipulative behavior that she allegedly endured throughout her relationship with Diddy. It painted a picture of a man who treated her like a doll, molding her into whatever he desired. One particularly shocking revelation was the infamous half-shaved hairstyle that Cassie sported in 2009. According to Young Jock, Diddy forced Cassie to shave her head after seeing a woman with a similar hairstyle at a club. Cassie allegedly had no say in the matter, with Diddy making the decision for her. The allegations made by Cassie were met with both shock and support from the public. Many commended her for finding the courage to speak up and expose the alleged abuse she endured. Diddy, on the other hand, was left shaken by the lawsuit. In a hasty attempt to avoid further damage to his reputation, he settled the lawsuit a day later for a reported $100 million. But Cassie's lawsuit was just the tip of the iceberg. Other women came forward with their own stories of abuse and misconduct involving Diddy. One woman claimed that she was a minor when Diddy assaulted her, alleging that he and his accomplices, all men, were involved in the assault. The fact that she was just 17 at the time raises serious concerns about Diddy's behavior and the potential exploitation of young individuals in the industry. Another woman filed a lawsuit against Diddy and Aaron Hall, accusing them of assaulting her and her friend. According to the lawsuit, Diddy and Hall were flirtatious with the women throughout the night, offering them drinks. Eventually, they invited the women to Hall's apartment, where Diddy and Hall allegedly took turns assaulting them while the victims were locked up in another room. The lawsuit paints a disturbing picture of a night that went horribly wrong, leaving the victims traumatized. These lawsuits and allegations have brought to light the dark side of Diddy's behavior and raised questions about the extent of his alleged misconduct. It seems that there may be more victims out there waiting to share their stories and seek justice. The streets are buzzing with speculation, with many saying that it's only a matter of time before Diddy faces prosecution for his alleged actions. The scandal surrounding Diddy's alleged misconduct takes an even more shocking turn as another prominent figure is dragged into the A controversy, none other than Jay-Z, Diddy's close friend and collaborator. Rumors and speculation have swirled for years about the true nature of their friendship, but recent revelations have raised eyebrows and left many wondering what truly goes on behind closed doors. Diddy and Jay-Z have been known to have a close bond, with their bromance often making headlines. In an interview, Diddy even claimed that only his mother and Jay-Z were allowed to call him by his first name, Sean. Their friendship has been on full display, with pictures of the two proudly featured on Diddy's website and their joint appearances at various events. But as the scandal surrounding Diddy's alleged misconduct continues to unfold, questions have arisen about Jay-Z's involvement and the secrets they may be hiding. Jaguar Wright, a singer, has claimed that Jay-Z is allegedly worse than Diddy, suggesting that he has been involved in shady practices for years. She even hinted at intimate moments between the two, leaving listeners to speculate about the true nature of their relationship. While these claims may seem shocking, they are not entirely without basis. Over the years, there have been whispers and rumors about Diddy and Jay-Z's friendship, with some suggesting that it goes beyond a typical bromance. The idea of an affair or secret relationship between the two has been a topic of discussion in certain circles, leaving many curious about what truly goes on behind the scenes. But what evidence is there to support these claims? While concrete proof may be lacking, there have been instances that have raised eyebrows, and and one such moment occurred during Diddy's 50th birthday bash in 2019. The star-studded event, held at his Beverly Hills mansion, saw the likes of Kim Kardashian, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kanye West, Beyonce, Kevin Hart, and, notably, Jay-Z in attendance. The presence of Jay-Z, known for being selective about the parties he attends, sparked speculation about the depth of his relationship with Diddy. Furthermore, there have been allegations of Diddy and Jay-Z helping each other out of trouble throughout the years. Both men have faced legal issues in the past, with Diddy narrowly avoiding jail time time on weapons and bribery charges, and Jay-Z being arrested for stabbing a producer. These incidents have fueled speculation about the extent of their involvement in each other's lives and the lengths they may go to protect one another. The allegations surrounding Diddy and Jay-Z's friendship
relationship have sparked intense interest and debate. Fans and critics alike are eager to uncover the truth behind their relationship and the potential secrets they may be hiding. The drama and speculation surrounding their bond have only added fuel to the fire, leaving many wondering if there is more to their friendship than meets the eye. Jay-Z's involvement in alleged freak-offs with Diddy. Rumors have been swirling for years about the questionable deeds of these two powerhouses, from backstage whispers to industry corridor talks. But now, we have a major bombshell. Usher, another big name in the music industry, recently spilled the details on none other than Shannon Sharp's podcast. That's right, Usher took the mic on Shannon Sharp's podcast and dropped some piping hot tea. In this video, we'll dive deep into the rumors, the connections, and the shocking revelations surrounding Jay-Z's involvement in alleged freak-offs with Diddy, as revealed by Usher himself on the podcast. It all started when Usher, the multi-talented R&B sensation, sat down with Shannon Sharp on his wildly popular podcast. The anticipation was high as fans eagerly awaited Usher's interview, hoping for some insider information on the music industry's biggest names. And boy did Usher deliver. During the podcast, Shannon Sharp, known for his straight shooting style, asked Usher about any missed collaborations in his career. That's when Usher dropped a bomb that left everyone gasping for air. He revealed that Jay-Z, Diddy, and himself were actually planning to form a supergroup that would have shaken the music industry to its core. Jay-Z, for real, Diddy, Damn, Usher! And me was supposed to be a group. Can you imagine the collective gasp that reverberated through the hip-hop community? The idea of these three powerhouses joining forces was mind-boggling. Jay-Z, the rap mogul and business tycoon, Diddy, the master of reinvention and hitmaker extraordinaire, and Usher, the smooth crooner with an undeniable stage presence together. They would have been an unstoppable force. Usher didn't hold back as he spilled the beans on the secret meetings and discussions that took place between the three artists. They had grand plans to flip the music game and revolutionize the business side of the industry. Imagine the collaborations, the performances, and the impact they could have made together. But, as Usher revealed, the dream. Collaboration didn't come to fruition. It wasn't a flat-out rejection from his end, but it wasn't a resounding yes either. The group's ambitious plans got caught up in a whirlwind of distractions, and the project evaporated into thin air. Now, here's where things get interesting. Speculation and rumors have been swirling about the deeper reasons behind Usher's decision not fully to commit to the group. Some people have connected the dots, and wondered if it could be tied to the wild parties and not-so-savory activities associated with Diddy. You see, back in the 90s, Diddy had this infamous puffy flavor camp where young stars would receive mentorship from him. Usher was one of those lucky kids who got a taste of this flavor camp. During his time there, he witnessed aspects of the lifestyle he had always dreamed of. The experience was wild and crazy, to say the least. Living with Puff Daddy for a year, Usher got an up-close and personal look at the glamorous, yet sometimes dark side of fame. He rubbed shoulders with hip-hop's biggest names, including including Notorious Big, Lil' Kim, Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige, and Craig Mack. Usher became part of the inner circle, affectionately referred to as Baby Boo by his older siblings. But amidst the glitz and glamour, questions arose about the guidelines and boundaries for a young artist like Usher. Howard Stern, in an interview, couldn't help but wonder if there were any restrictions or rules in place considering Usher's young age. Surprisingly, Usher revealed that Puffy wasn't strict with him. Instead, he allowed Usher to enjoy his youth and freedom. While Usher didn't attend a regular school, he had a tutor to handle his education and a financial advisor to manage his money. It was a unique setup that kept him out of too much trouble. This unconventional approach allowed Usher to focus on his music career and navigate the complexities of the industry. When it was time for Usher to release his first album, Diddy took on the role of producer. However, the debut didn't exactly become a hit. Despite this setback, Usher's talent and potential were undeniable. Puffy, ever the savvy businessman, decided to step back for Usher's second album, My Way, which ended up going six times platinum in the late 90s. The connection between Usher and Diddy runs deep, and their collaboration on My Way was a testament to their shared vision and musical chemistry. But as we delve into the rumors surrounding Jay-Z and Diddy's involvement in questionable affairs, it raises questions about the dynamics within their inner circles. Jay-Z and Diddy have long been the subjects of persistent rumors and whispers about their potential involvement in less than honorable deeds. From backstage whispers to industry corridor talks, these tales have spread like wildfire throughout the years. Diddy, in particular, has faced the spotlight on the not-so-flattering aspects of his life thanks to a series of lawsuits. It's as if the universe decided to give him a reality check and expose some of the less glamorous parts of his journey. As for Jay-Z, rumors about his potential involvement in questionable affairs have been hanging in the air for a while now. But before we dive into all the juicy details of their alleged not-so-honorable deeds, let's take a moment to explore the friendship between Jay-Z and Diddy. These two have been tight for a long time, part of the same crew of hip-hop royalty. Their bond, often referred to as a bromance has been evident
constant in their public interactions and mutual admiration. Even during the Jay-Z and NFL collaboration, which faced significant backlash, Diddy publicly stood by his side, providing unwavering support. He expressed admiration for Jay-Z's impact on the rap scene, stepping into the shoes of legends like Biggie and Tupac. Diddy acknowledged Jay-Z's selflessness and advocacy for others, emphasizing the importance of unity in the hip-hop culture. But amidst these positive sentiments, whispers in the rumor mill suggest the occurrence of secretive all-male gatherings, stirring up curiosity and speculation. Okay. Big homie want to look like a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. And with 50 Cent playfully teasing both Jay-Z and Diddy, dropping hints about their personal lives, fans are starting to question the company they keep. Some fans have even gone as far as connecting tragic outcomes within their inner circles to these rumors. There are even whispers of potential sacrifices made to boost their own careers. While these claims may seem far-fetched, the intense competition and desire for success in the 90s rap scene led some artists to do anything to climb the ladder. And then there are the rumors about the Illuminati. People suspect that Jay-Z and Diddy have been involved in some shady stuff, using their influence to sacrifice other rappers and boost their own careers. These allegations have fueled speculation and intrigue, leaving fans hungry for the truth. While it's important to approach these claims with caution, it's hard to ignore the patterns that have emerged. Some fans have connected the dots and questioned whether there may be more to these coincidences than meets the eye. They wonder if sacrifices have been made along the way to boost their own careers and maintain their positions at the top of the rap game. In the intense and competitive world of 90s rap, where artists were fighting tooth and nail to climb the ladder of success. Some were willing to do anything to stay on top. The pressure to maintain their gangster personas and not be caught off guard was immense. It was a time when survival meant taking out the competition, no matter the cost. Enjoyed the video? Crave more excitement? Stay tuned by clicking on any of the cards on your screen right now for more thrilling content. See you next time.